Good morning everybody, Resale Rabbit here. It's Friday. I've been really bad at doing videos lately. So I'm filming one, so I've got one online today. I'm gonna show you some weird, unique things that I've picked up over the past couple of days uh, to sell on eBay. Most of this came from local auctions. Um, I got a bunch of it from an auction about 40 minutes from here, and some of it from an auction a couple hours away. Um, all online bidding, I just had to go pick it up there. So this thing right here is a clutch and brake for something. I don't know. I paid 16 bucks for this. It's worth between three and 400 bucks on eBay. It hasn't been listed yet. I just picked it up yesterday. Right here is a tool balancer. Cost me 55 bucks. It looks brand new. My best guess is it hangs from the ceiling and has a tool hanging off of it. So if you're on an assembly line using like an impact wrench or something every day, it's a little bit lighter because this balances off the weight. And so it's not as hard on your wrist. We have it listed for 345 bucks. There was a sold that we comped off of. So that's kind of where we came up with the price, but it cost me 55. Here's one over here. This cost me 10 bucks. This is really heavy. I bet this is 40 or 50 pounds. It is an elevator hydraulic shutoff valve, some sort of safety valve for an elevator. I can't tell if it's new or used. It's got this plastic cap on it on both ends. And when you take it off, it looks very clean inside. You can't see, but it looks brand new inside, but there's a little bit of rust outside. I think we listed it as used. Um, listed it for 400 bucks, I think. Cost me 10. And underneath it are a couple of diamond sapphire chains, whatever that means. I think it's for some sort of like industrial chainsaw. They're 10 feet. Um, we've got those listed for 26.99. I paid, I want to say seven for both of them. Down here, this one's less exciting, but still decent. It's a hand dryer that you'd see in a bathroom. Look out for these. Even used, they can be worth a decent amount. This is a cheap one, and it's $129.99 is what we have it listed for. Um, we have, uh, I paid $49 for it. But a lot of these, even used ones, can be four or 500 bucks. So always look out for hand dryers. Right here, this is a computer for, I think, a semi-truck. Here's the uh, readout, and there's the computer itself. I paid two bucks for it. There are actually no sold comps to go off of, but we listed it for 100 I have high hopes, but it was a $2 gamble, so even if it doesn't sell, I'm not out much. Another $2 purchase. I just looked it up. It's in here. Oh, this box is heavy. Right here, this Sony security camera. It's a very fancy one. Um, we listed it for 350 bucks. It is missing the lens, but it only cost me two bucks. And here's one, this little drill. I think this is a medical thing. And down here it says RX only. Um, it works. It doesn't have a charger. I don't know how it charges. There is no like metal terminal or anything on it, but it cost me two bucks. And it actually just sold today for 120. Here's another good one. So this was all in this Gaylord. A uh, whole bunch of, it seems like mostly semi-truck parts. I paid six bucks for this pallet. And the thing that really got me interested was this grill. Semi-truck grills, especially this is an international one, can be like four or 500 bucks. Unfortunately, this one is not. This one, it's got a little bit of damage. These tabs are bent in. If you bend, bend it back, they'll probably snap. This one's already snapped. And new, this specific grill is like 250 bucks free shipping. Um, but I bet I can still get 60 bucks selling this for someone who's gonna hang it on their wall in their garage or something. Uh, I paid six bucks for the whole pallet. There's also the steering column. I We're not gonna list this on eBay, but maybe like some of these no, those aren't going anywhere. Um, sometimes, like, the turn signal stock can be worth something. It looks like that's already been removed. I don't know. Maybe the steering wheel's worth something. Maybe this will end up in the dumpster. I don't know. But there's a whole bunch of other parts. Over here, this is with it. There's a rim. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's separate. And then we get this thing. We get this thing. 
random switches and stuff. And you know, most of this stuff is probably gonna go in the trash. Um, especially like this filter. This is a Bose speaker. There were three of them. It's huge. I think those were probably in like hanging from the ceiling in a retail store. We got random brackets like this. They've got part numbers, so they're probably worth something. Um, I don't know how much of this is gonna have value. Like this is probably trash. Um, a lot of it's gonna go in the dumpster. But that grill will easily pay for the six bucks. Maybe we'll be able to get some other parts. Like you can see some window switches here. Those are usually decent. Um, looks like a, a shifter right there. That's probably gonna be okay. But this is already listed. This is a full gauge cluster for a semi truck. It's beat up. You got a crack there, um, a crack down here. So this, someone sold one for like 400 bucks. We listed this for 199, I think, or 149, just because of the damage. So that's a good find. Now I don't know that that works. That could be junk. There's no way for me to test it. So what we're basically doing is we're just selling it as is, but we do have a return policy. So if the customer buys it and it doesn't work, they can return it. Um, we've got the serial number in the picture, so we know they're not going to return their old one when they swap them out. Uh, what else can I show you? This pretty. Oh, there's one more thing. Hold on. A couple more things. Um, I'll show you the less exciting one, then the really exciting one. So I spent five bucks on the steam table, $5. Um, I couldn't believe it went so cheap. And I listed it on Marketplace for 200 and had some interest, but you know how people are in Marketplace. They disappear when you say it's still available. But I just had someone PayPal me the money for it, 100 bucks. I'm okay with that. Remember, I only spent five bucks for it. He said he was gonna use it to boil syrup, maple syrup. And I said, tell you what, I'll take the hundred if you throw in a bottle of syrup. So I get a hundred bucks for this plus a bottle of real maple syrup coming. And uh, I paid five. Now this is the cool stuff. I spent, look at this, these are parking machines. I spent five dollars on both of these. They are incredibly heavy. They still have the stuff on here. And I tested this one. You know, you can... Uh, Pay by plate, oh, printer's out of paper, uh, so I'll hit okay. Uh, plate number 80085, okay. I can purchase a ticket. And it lets me do it. Like I was able to purchase parking, I still have a dollar in here. So I don't know if this is still connected to their system. It's fully wireless. Is that an alarm? <laughs> I think that's an alarm when the door's not closed or something. Um, I don't know if it's still, it's fully wireless. It runs off of this big battery right here. Um, but I was able to get it all working. It was put into service in 2015, taken out of service in 2019. Uh, they're both from, oh, it's not here anymore. It says lot Y. I think they probably just redeveloped the, the property, put a building there or something. Um, now I don't know what I'm gonna do here. But this is worth 200 This is for the bills. This is worth about 50 It's for the coins. Um, I, already, I took the printer out. That's why it wasn't printing. The printer's right there. Um, the printer, I could not find any solds on that. However, this one has a newer printer. And this one is about 300 bucks new. There are no used comps. So that's got to be at least 100 bucks. Somebody has this central computer. There's one in both of them. Listed for 450 but there are no solds. Um, you know, we've got the screen, we've got the credit card reader, a whole bunch of different stuff that we can sell out of here. I could, I'm estimating that I could probably get about 500 bucks per unit, just parting them out. And then I've got the whole unit. I've got the keys and everything for it. And this thing is beefy. I mean, it's designed to carry cash and be outside. It's, it's got a lot of weight to it. So I feel like the keys go in on the side here. And they're very weird keys. I feel like I could probably sell this thing once I got all the parts out as a safe. Because it's going to be very secure. It's designed to carry cash. I mean, look at this. This is the lock. It's designed to be outside in the dark and have cash in it. So it's going to be really secure. The only issue is this hole right here. 
which is where this thing is. If I take this out, that'll be there. But there is some screw holes here. So you'll probably just cut a piece of metal and screw that right over that. And then you've got a safe once I get all the internals out. And all these brackets and everything will probably come right off and be completely open. So I bet I could get some money, maybe a couple hundred bucks for it like that. But before I do that, I'm just going to sell it as a whole unit. I'm going to list it on eBay. There's the stand for it. There's the unit. This one has a stand right there. I'm just going to list it on eBay for like $2,000 each and just see what they do. And we'll put them on a pallet because they're probably 150, 200 pounds at least. Um, plus the stand, which is probably another 50. So I'm going to try that and see how it goes. Um, in addition to all of this, I've got another printer. This has like all the keys and everything in it. Extra brackets and stuff. I don't know if those have any value. But then over here, underneath this, hold on. I've got paper. These are little cleaning cards that you stick into the bill reader, the printer, and the card reader um, to clean it. These silver ones are for the change. I don't know what the difference between that and that is. Uh, it feels like it's a door that's just flipped closed. And then these are for the bills. And I've got keys for these as well. So, I mean, I could probably sell this just as a lockbox. I guess the change falls in there, so that must open when it's in. I don't know why it's still open. But I could probably sell these as just lockboxes. I couldn't find these on eBay anywhere. I'm going to try just listing them. They're no active, no sold, so maybe someone's out there looking for them. I'm just going to list them. Uh, probably $39.99 each, something like that, and see what they do. But if they don't sell, I can throw them in the auction as lock boxes. I couldn't find this anywhere, this parking receipt paper. I could park for free anywhere I want now as long as I pre-print the parking receipts on here. But I think it's still connected to their, their system because it let me pay for parking. It gave me a ticket. There you go, lot Y. It gave me a little slip that said that my parking is paid for. So... I don't know if this is still connected to their system. It must connect wirelessly somehow because it's completely, the power is completely wireless with that battery. And I've got another battery too that goes in there. The batteries might have some value. I don't know. I'm excited about this. This was only five bucks. This was a heck of a deal. They were very heavy and I had to drive two hours away to pick them up to the University of Wisconsin at Stevens Point. But man, that was, I was very excited about these. So, that's the weird stuff that I brought in. There was one other thing that I didn't show you that I couldn't find and didn't feel like looking for it. There was another, remember that elevator safety valve thing? There was another one. Um, similar, different model, but same brand and looked very similar. And it was also like a thousand pounds. Um, we priced it about the same. I don't know where that is. And I didn't really care to look it up on eBay to find where it's located. But that is some of the weird, cool stuff. Here, I'll show you one more thing. I didn't buy this, Tim bought this, and I don't know what he's gonna do with it, but it's cool. I think he said he paid like 60 bucks for this. You know what this is? This is a robot. It's one of those robots they use to like build cars or something, they put them on assembly lines. Um, I don't know what it's worth. I looked up uh, this brand and I think, I think this motor is like 600, but as a whole, some people have these listed for like five to $10,000. I don't know if it works. It's not my problem. It's Tim's. This thing is really heavy. So I don't know what he's going to do with it, but, um, lot 104, I guess, but this is really neat and weird and not the typical type of thing that a typical reseller would have. I'm guessing... There must have been some sort of computer here, maybe a counterweight or something. I have no idea. But it's cool, isn't it? So my point in this video, in addition to brag about the cool things that I found, is to show you to step out of your comfort zone. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'll find out. I'll learn. Just like video games, just like VCRs, everything has a model number, so you can always look it up. As far as testing a lot of this equipment, like these parking machines here, Obviously, that works. I haven't tested the other one, but I'm assuming that probably works, too. So that's easy, but not everything can be tested. All I do, because my markup is big enough, 
is I put right in the listing, usually, not always. Sometimes I'll make a judgment call if it looks new. Like I think that elevator switch, it looked new, so I don't think we mentioned this. But a lot of times we'll say um, it's not tested. However, we offer a 30 day return policy. As long as you return the item, serial numbers in the picture, you get your money back if it doesn't work. Because enough times it works where I'm only out the shipping both ways. And the markup, I mean, some of the stuff I spend two, five, ten bucks and sell for hundreds. So I can afford to take the hit on that. And if it doesn't work, now I had someone test it for me who actually has the capabilities to test, you know, how am I going to test an elevator shutoff valve or switch thing? How am I going to test a gauge cluster for a semi truck? There's no uh, feasible way for me to test that. So this way, when it comes, if it comes back, which my return rate's still really low, so most of this stuff works at least enough for the buyer to not want to return it. Uh, but if it comes back, I'm now at the cost of the item, shipping to them and shipping back. But now it's been fully tested and I know exactly what's wrong with it and I can probably sell it for parts. I just did that with an instrument, like a central computer thing for a motorcycle. Uh, it came on a pallet, we sold it for 400 bucks. It's very small, I think it shipped well, I guess first class doesn't exist anymore. It was under a pound. We sold it for 400 bucks and it didn't work. Guy returned it. So that was a bummer. Uh, but now we know it doesn't work because he had it connected to a motorcycle and tested it and it didn't work. So we listed it for parts or repair, 100 bucks. Now that I'm saying this on the internet, I suppose that doesn't stop people from just buying stuff, saying it doesn't work, and then waiting for us to price it cheaper for parts. Hopefully nobody does that. But... Uh, that's how we operate and it works for us and we end up selling some really cool stuff that way so i hope you enjoyed this video enjoy your weekend and I've, i have the warehouse sale from the last sale video filmed one of these days i'll sit down and edit it it's been very busy lately but we get another sale coming up on november 30th so be on the lookout for that bye